Here's a tutorial in Vegas Pro version 17 on how to manually adjust your contrast for almost each and every frame separately because if you adjust it for one frame it looks good if you go to a different frame it might look very bad the same settings are not good for each and every frame okay so these sliders on the brightness and contrast uh, settings will move to the left and right as I move the playhead to the left and to the right okay so let's see how to do these adjustments of course let's reset the entire uh, window layout so go to view window layout and default layout okay now let's make the timeline a bit smaller Let's make that larger, Cl close this master bus, we don't need it. Uh, we will use this one, video output FX, that one uh, adds the preset that contrasts to the entire clip, each and every clip if you, you split it into many pieces. So go to this FX icon, you can integrate this window by holding down the control key and then it will go inside there. And go to view and window and video scopes open that one also Control alt and 2 is the hotkey okay so we will take a look at this one and um, analyze by analyzing this we can see what's happening there and according to that we can adjust these okay so let's start that one from the beginning also so click on the FX add that uh, brightness and contrast add and ok and now we, ha we will adjust the contrast and contrast center so open these things up so that we can see the keyframes ok and let's go to the beginning if it's not moving uh, in the same time with that one just check this one like so so let's go to beginning and let's analyze this one so the R, G and B, red, green and blue should get to the maximum value 254, 55 and the minimum value of 0 so we should, the bottom part is reaching there so we should increase it so let's see the contrast is expanding both the top and the bottom thus it's making the image uh, grayer or more vivid okay so let's increase it a little bit and with the contrast center we will move it up or down okay if uh, only if a little bit is clipping or so called it's crushed that is okay but don't crush too much so these dots should not uh, go too high or too low neither of them okay so let's see let's say this setting is good for this frame so let's go a little bit further you can zoom in with the scroll wheel okay and meanwhile take a look at this one so I'm dragging it to the right it should go a little bit down also so let's see that brings it down and expand it a little bit more okay so as I modify something it created a keyframe let's go further and there is a sudden change and before that sudden change let's add a keyframe so that it will modify it from this point on okay and this will be crushed it will go too much up so I should bring it down by reducing the contrast okay now it goes up again this one the blue reduce it even more a little bit and if I want I can move the entire thing down and do this for each and almost each and every frame so now it's too up let's bring it bring everything a bit down and so on let's bring a little bit down there also and by doing this hard work 
you might adjust your video uh, correctly so currently it's too dark too dark because everything is pushed to down to the zero so we could reduce the contrast that smashes it to the middle okay and if needed let's whoa. so I need to reduce the contrast severely okay and now I should expand it it's missing so expand it by increasing the contrast and move it a little bit up okay and do all of these modifications to keep those points till the top and till the bottom and your video will look more contrasty and less gray and it should look fine for each and every portion at each and every frame you don't need to do it frame by frame just in those points where you can see that is way too bad so in that point I should bring it down bring down the contrast or or if not the contrast then move everything down expand it a little bit no it's fine no it's too much to the top and bottom so bring it closer move it a little bit down because those points are crushed and so on okay so that's how to manually adjust your contrast because the program can do it by itself okay and that's it thanks for watching and bye bye